The if-then-else statement is available in Excel through the Visual Basic Editor or Macros. You can use the if-then-else statement to execute one set of code when a condition is true or another set of code if it is false. This is done through VBA code instead of a worksheet function. Let's start with a simple example on Sheet 1. We are going to use the if-then-else statement to update cell C2 with north, south, east, or west depending on the region code entered in cell A2. So if we entered N in cell A2, we want north to appear in cell C2. To open the Visual Basic Editor, you can do this using the Alt F11 shortcut. Or you can select the Developer tab, and then Visual Basic under the Code section. If you don't see the Developer tab in your version of Excel, we've left a link in the comments below with instructions on how to display this tab. Here on the left we have our Excel objects. To make it easier, we are going to create our VBA code under the Sheet 1 object. So double click on Sheet 1 to open its code window. We'll create a new subroutine called TOTN if example 1. We'll create a string variable called LRegion and a second string variable called LRegion name. These variables will be used in our code below. We'll set the L region variable to the value stored in cell A2. And we'll start our if then L statement by typing if L region equals N then. When this condition is met, we'll set the variable called L region name to north. Since we want to test another condition, we'll enter else if L region equals S then. Notice that there is no space between else and if, it is just one word. When L region is S, we'll set the variable to south. Let's add another condition by entering else if L region equals E, then, and we'll set the L region name variable to east when this condition is met. And finally, we want to handle the case where L region is equal to W. We can either enter another else if condition or we can use an else statement. Just to show you the syntax, we'll use an else statement to handle this condition. So we'll enter else L region name equals west. And then we'll close off our if then else statement with end if. Now let's set cell C2 with the value in the L region name variable. Now when we go back to our worksheet, we need some way to run this code, so let's create a button. On the Developers tab, under Insert, click on the button icon, and then left-click and drag to draw your button on the worksheet. Select TOTN if example 1 to assign the macro to the button, and then click on OK. We'll change the button text to something more meaningful. Now when you set a value in cell A2 and then click on the button, our VBA code will update the value in cell C2. For a value of N, it will set cell C2 to north. For a value of S, it will set it to south, and so on. Now let's go to sheet 2 and look at another example. Here we have a list of students in column A and their corresponding grade in column B. Let's update a comment in column C based on the grade in column B. In the Developer tab, click on the Visual Basic button again, and this time double-click on Sheet 2 in the Project Explorer. We'll create a new subroutine called TOTN if Example 2, and we'll create a for each loop testing each grade in the range B2 to B8. We'll start our if then statement by entering if grade equals A, and we'll use the OR keyword here and enter OR grade equals B. In this case, the OR keyword will test if either the grade is an A or a B. Now we want to update the comment value, which is found in column C. So we'll use offset to find the cell. Since we are currently referencing a cell in column B, to find the column C counterpart, we need to offset by zero rows and one column. So we'll enter zero comma one. Zero is the number of rows, and one is the number of columns to shift over and we'll set the value in this cell to great work. Now we will enter else if grade equals C, then. 
and we'll set the corresponding value in column C to needs improvement. And we'll finish off with else and set the column C cell to time for a tutor. And then we'll close off our if then else statement with end if. Finally, we'll close off our for each loop by entering next grade. Let's go back to our worksheet and create another button to run this code. We'll select sheet2.totn if example2 as the macro and click on the OK button. Again, we'll update the text. To run the code, just click on the button and all of the comments in column C will get updated. For a grade of A or B, the comment will show great work. For a grade of C, the comment will show needs improvement. And for all other grades, we'll see time for a tutor as the comment. This covers some basic examples of the if-then-else statement in Excel VBA. If you would like to see more examples or would like to download the sample data we use for this tutorial, please visit our website at techonthenet.com. If you found our tutorial helpful, please leave a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great Excel tutorials.